Oh, they got you with the we've already been here. Oh, yeah. That's a good indicator, at least. All right. Get on! By order of the general! <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> we, uh... We've, we've trained them in everything. <laughs> you know that scene with the the griffin from Harry Potter? It's exactly like that. You just hold out your hand and then you fly. <laughs> oh, how much do you weigh? You know... Maybe they can only tame them if they never stop moving. Because you could just land and let people climb on. Very true. Alright, where's the anti-aircraft fire? Hell yes! <laughs> right there. <laughs> Did he just break the sound barrier? Yes, I'm gonna say yes because that's what I want to happen. They're going Mach 1. This is essentially the same as Chuck Yeager's first time breaking the sound barrier. What about that entrance? In fact, forget about the X1 test plane. It was actually Honor Griffin. He did it. Nice. Get everyone together. Yuri, <laughs> hit that Don't encourage him, Captain. I, I know he likes to look at stuff real hard, but just, you know. I'll draw their arrows. So you, you only save that for knocking down ledges, huh? Can't use that in a fight? Nope, not possible. He has to be charged with camaraderie and good leadership. I thought they might increase their defenses. <laughs> okay. Snipers, keep your heads down. E. Well, this is the kind of medieval Call of Duty I can get behind. Mm -hmm. Where's the last story version of uh, D-Day Invasion? I'm trying to think. Oh. Uh, if it might have been when they had, when they when the Garak attacked the first time. <laughs> like that mechanic. Yeah. Yeah, it sets up a lot of nice combos. I think this would be a lot of fun to play if it weren't on a console that demanded motion controls. Well, I mean, you don't use the... This game doesn't use them. Well, I saw that that run up the uh, wall thing has to have the nunchuck, it looked like, in the descriptor. No, uh, it, was, uh, it was just saying... If you had the nunchuck, uh, because uh. Uh, when I played this, it's with the uh, classic control. I gotcha. I think it was just, I think it gave, the, I think it just did the directions like that for individuals that didn't buy the, uh, didn't buy the, uh, motion, uh, the classic controller. I remember that. You seem to know much, Master Yurik. Tell me, when did you learn this? When I was young. Not really something I talk about. 
<laughs> I don't like anyone to know that I'm learning. <laughs> they always, they they're, always dump my books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It was a long time ago. I see. You are a fine young man, Master Yuri. Okay. No. <laughs> Therian flips in the view. Please, please get away from them talking. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> they do like their snipers. General, it seems the enemies ahead know that we're approaching. Doesn't it just? Still, it's not like we're going away. Master Zayl, it's going to be rough from here on. Don't die. The snipers are the biggest threat. Take Thanks, them out Dad. First if you can. Master <laughs> Zale, mind your surroundings. You can't win if you strike. Uh, he really should have just like Zale, christened it with that's an order. Lisa, Yurik, take out that sniper. Okay, cover me. Time for a little counter sniping. <laughs> I'm just gonna pew pew. No, up next is the uh, mounted vehicle section, so they can just redo Fury. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm honest, I would I would pay a lot for that game. Yeah. That uh, the that one night just did some sort of aerial assault. <laughs> it's a it's also it's kind of interesting how quickly you guys have become secondary characters now that the general and his super cool white knight are here. I mean, you got to make way for greatness. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Although maybe he's we just kind of <laughs> standing there. <laughs> maybe we are second class citizens. We. Like, what really helped in the uh, combat of this game, like I said, you had the two options uh, of automatic, in which basically you just walk up to an enemy and it automatically swings. Mm -hmm. um, I did the I did the manual because I like the feedback of pushing the button. There are no button combos, per se, but you could sort of set up your own combos with the... Uh, the command prompt as well as um... right right doing uh, the uh, like... setting up things for you to burst and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then the environmental uh, attack mm -hmm. yeah Ow. <laughs> Alright, this time I got him. Bam! Ow! Alright, now it's round two. Here we go. Bam! Ow! I mean, yeah, snipers are bad, but maybe get that ogre in. Or ogre. <laughs> I mean, he's essentially <laughs> swinging a giant morning star. Yeah. Beating wholesale ass out here. Ah, but he dropped his stealthy pants. Yeah. I haven't quite, like, a uh, armor in this. Uh, does not seem to be as critical as uh, weapons. Hmm. I like this triumphant music in the background. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, nope. Thought we had another railing kill lined up.
Why is everybody following me? <laughs> I was only fighting one guy. Everybody's just gonna beat down on that last dude. Are they spitting? Can you bring down that bit of ceiling? Okay, I'll give it a try. Hey, that, that, uh, the knight with the white hair, that uh, little aerial attack he does has an AoE. Hmm. Oh, oh. Nah, he killed him. You know, if it happened all the time, we wouldn't like it so much, but... I suppose. Although it's uh, very convenient that we can't get knocked off the rails. <laughs> Yeah, those environmental kills seem to be the way to go. Mm hmm Lisa, Yuri, take out that sniper. Okay, cover me. <laughs> They're all dead. What what? He he just flipped over the, the <laughs> Oh, okay. Yep. I'm not the only one with cool flippy powers. They're learning. Lisa, Gotta sort that sniper out. Take out that sniper. Okay. Oh. Come on, you dick. Let us heal. <laughs> oh, a little nose candy there, a little Lazulus powder. Mm-hmm. Did we get them all? Now we see how they do all the flips and stuff. It explains why they were able to stay up for the three day trip. Mm. Translation, do you want to grind? <laughs> you know, good on him for lampshading this. He was just hang around and beat on some people. Yeah, I mean, even in the, uh, I, I, I'm, I make these comparisons a lot specifically just because of, you know, who made this game, but like, uh, even in the, like the, I won't say any any of the PlayStation ones. The PlayStation ones were pretty well paced, but like the earlier Final Fantasy games, when you had to go out into the um, out into the overworld map and just kind of walk around and get into a bunch of random encounters. Yeah, especially if I remember correctly, Final Fantasy One's dungeon just became murderously unfun to play after a while. Yeah, you can only go down. You can only go down like one or two floors, and then you have to go back out and use a tent. <laughs> this feeling, it's him. Do you mean to say that you feel? And then in the Ooh. first one. Yes, General. I fought him the other day when the Gorak attacked the castle. You did well to survive. Hmm. Describe fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I was in the air a whole bunch. All right, this time we're totally going to get Ganondorf. Oh. Let's see, and then they, uh... Oh, yeah, but like, uh... Welcome to my base. One, I would say... Uh... Zangor. Oh, gotta look. <laughs> Hey, come back. 
this is gonna go well. I like when I hire a guard dog to let one person get past, but then the rest you should fight. It's too furious. Drop some of those bombs in its way. I'll give it a shot. We need to throw everything we have once it's slow. What was the, the uh There is no other way. The lion with a scorpion tail that wasn't the manticore, was it? Uh, manticores do, and some uh, kind of depictions have scorpion tails. Uh, chimeras also have snake and sometimes scorpion tails, depending on the fiction they're from. There's no other way. For some reason, the bomb. Oh, oh okay. Now I just figured it out. I guess seeing it a second time. I couldn't figure out why some of the bombs weren't going off, but apparently they're, uh... It's like deploying mines. Like, yeah, they're, pro they're proximity-based, apparently. Interestingly enough, uh, a lot of the... I guess the Manticore might be Babylonian in origin, but generally mm -hmm. has a dude's face with this really awesome looking beard. Just gonna place a little mine around here. <laughs> what did you just tell me to do? <laughs> Also, it has a saddle. I don't think anything. It had the it had the status of a surrounded, but I don't think anything that can do a can do a scream wipe of character can ever really be surrounded. <laughs> Did you set off the? <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, so. They don't go off if I go near them, but if there's an enemy near them, they will go off. So I guess I, I got caught up in the blast. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. Well, it's fair. Yeah, you know. Like in some of, like in some of those games, there that grenades that you throw don't hurt you. They've designed intelligent shrapnel. Yeah. The enemy is up on that bullshit sail. <laughs> it just has the default status of nothing personal, kid. Yeah. <laughs> it can dodge sword attacks, but not throwing an artillery shell at its face. Oh, it's got that, uh... <laughs> also, does it have tribal tats on its face? I'm gonna go with yes. Okay. Metal. Oh, no, it's a juggalo. Ah. Then it needs to be put down. <laughs> Got that question sword. Quite, yeah, I think it's quite funny that juggalos are on are listed as a, a gang related acti activity. I mean on the yeah. FBI list. I guess they kinda are. Oh no, who could have seen this turned out badly? You <laughs> did not kill the final boss. Sometimes. Master Dagron, 
<laughs> you <better> or fail. <laughs> maybe start with some pants. We got a cool ass lava fortress now. <laughs> that goes for you too. <laughs> Mouth animation a little silly. Up close. Yeah, they're they could they they have problem with uh, smiles in this one. They all look very creepy. When we go through the bouncer, I'll show you that they have that same kind of weird mannequin smile from. Uh, PlayStation 2 esque era 3D. Mm -hmm. I will thank you to not use inflection on the first on the first half of my name. <laughs> How's it going, Ashtar? Come on, we're adults here. During the design of these ships, they just kept saying, hmm, needs more sails. Yeah, needs a little more filigree on the doors and the walls. Every nail should be a floor de lis Story time. Yeah. Oh, and we're back. But that wasn't something you needed to hide from us. Now you mention it, it makes sense. It's still quite a shock, though. I like that their colors are just the two portal colors from Portal. Mm hmm. Come on, where's the dude just hammering on a door? <laughs> The ship has obelisks on it. Yeah, and I do like um, throughout, and it, it kind of started when we were on the uh, Griffins attacking the base. It sort of gives little hints of uh, Dagrin's ambitions getting the better of him. Hmm doing the exact same thing Lisa did a second ago, running off on your own. Don't go thinking the power of the outsider will make you into a great warrior. Well, it kind of also starts to hint of, uh, you know, is he, ha is he starting to develop ulterior motives? doing so no longer. And while receiving the outsider's power was a stroke of good luck, you cannot rely on luck forever. Very jealous. Nice cravat. Oh, Zael, aren't you searching for Callista? Okay. Are you telling me to go away? <laughs> I just assume she's like the female version of Anakin Skywalker. I hate sand. Gets everywhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How about a spin? That's a good trick. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to lean too hard into that. That 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 kid apparently grew up very difficult, and I think last I read, he's he was diagnosed schizophrenic, and uh, I think he was arrested for like attacking his mother. Oh, Jake Lloyd. Jeez. Yeah. Why are you smiling like that? Please stop. <laughs> Sorry. 
suspected as much. Mm, I am troubled now. Just the name. If you can use that power properly, it will be of great help to you. Oh God. You should be careful, lad. Yes, sir. That made it all the way through testing. <laughs> People saw that and were like, yeah, that's a human emotion. Not every day you get to board a ship like this. Was, oh, that's like in um Oblivion where when you start when you go into the dialogue when you activate dialogue with them. Their disposition with, with you is reflected in their face, so if you talk to them and they like you, they're just immediately a big silly grin on their face. Yes, that's uh, the way you influence Wheel. Very strange indeed. Callista. Come on! <laughs> she was crying. How do you know? I mean, he, he sees things. Sees them real good. Too darn. She didn't notice me. Where'd you go, Callista? Mysterious hooded fit. Oh, it's a shop. <laughs> yeah, I, I edited here. Uh, there was a. I went ahead and went through all the Watch shops it. and the are there. bought some new armor. I did. I swapped some armor out, uh, and then I went and sold the uh, ornaments, ornamental swords. I'm trying to figure out how to get past the cannon. <laughs> My flippy powers. Yeah, I was trying to flip, but uh To be fair, it wasn't made obvious. Is it that little squeeze place right there? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> It's impossible to get by otherwise. Sam. Here you are. I was looking for you. <laughs> Sorry. I knew I'd just get upset if I saw you again. And don't worry about me. Boy, I, I say that th right same thing to the mirror every morning. <laughs> that again <laughs> I'm sorry your future husband's a tool I can't let you go back to the castle why not I hate seeing you so sad yes why because I like 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 you Yes, let me kidnap you again. Their whole relationship is built on kidnapping. Why won't you listen to me? I want Callista to stay with us. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought he was talking to the general, and I was like, really? <laughs> think. She's the sole daughter to the mighty house of Argon. <laughs> That's very hard for you to do, I know. Yeah. yeah. But you know what will happen. She Looking, he's got down. down. Thinking, not so much. I just can't stand by Breaking out the P happen. word, jeez Louise. Mm. <laughs> Gonna get demonetized. Sale's getting quite audacious, isn't he? Trust me, there's going to be hell to pay. Look, the only people who know she's here are us and General Aston. I can persuade him. So <laughs> I think we can take him. Everybody it. agrees, we can know. If anyone finds out, it's not just you two on the chopping block. You'd put us all in danger for her. Is that what you want? 
Yeah, I thought I made that point really clear. I'll go back to my cannon crying place. <laughs> That's armors has some serious padding on it. I think that's the. Oh, what did I put on here? I think. Zael, don't get any ideas about. That might have been a set of the feather armor. Okay. Very feathery. Well, you know those goose down pillows. They're quite tough. Hmm. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet. Round two of whose fault is it? <laughs> We're almost at Lazarus Port. Are you ready to disembark? Then let us head back. Attention, everyone. We will shortly be docking at Lazarus Port. It has been an honor sailing with you. You are all to relax and enjoy yourselves. We've just been wasting time waiting for Zale to say when we can <laughs> talk. With a heavy heart, Zale pondered his options as the fleet approached the island. Maybe we will become birds. God, so many sails. Make means go faster. Yeah, I guess so. Can't argue with the results. We're already to the Star Wars ceremony, the medal ceremony. Excellent work as always, General. All right, now who's gonna make the Chewie noise? <laughs> You know what? They ha took the time to fashion buttons and loops on that guy's General Astor's coat. What is this? Zale. I've discovered that this man, using the chaos to his advantage, tried to abduct Lady Callista. I also have information stating that these people helped the Garak, allowing them to steal our precious magical tomes. What? You're wrong. <clears throat> Uncle, they wouldn't. My poor Callista. Did they threaten you? You're safe now. No need to worry. Who could have seen this Throw coming? In that dungeon. Sir! Hold still! What are you doing? Let me go! General Astar, you wouldn't want to tarnish your good name by defending them. Zale! Smarm. <laughs> nice cravat. 